In previous episodes in this series, we've covered a lot of ground. The relationship between IoT devices and networks. Embedded devices, also known as the things in the Internet of Things. Internet protocols for the IoT. And cloud computing. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, you may want to give them a look. In this video, we're discussing the software that runs on IoT devices. That's called a real-time operating system. And we'll touch upon Micrium's solution for the IoT, called Spectrum. At Micrium, we think of IoT devices as embedded systems that transmit and receive information over a network. And network devices need a capable operating system. The software for your IoT device must be scalable to accommodate a wide range of devices. It also must be modular so that you can choose only the components you need affecting your footprint. It also has to have a variety of connectivity options such as wireless sensor networking, Bluetooth, USB, Wi-Fi, and of course, Ethernet. It also must be reliable, so your device can be certified for safety-critical applications if need be. So why a real-time operating system? Why not something like Linux? Linux is robust and developer-friendly, and it's getting attention as a platform for IoT devices. But Linux has a disadvantage when compared to a real-time operating system. Memory footprint. Linux is a hefty piece of software. Even though you can trim it down by removing tools and system services, it simply will not run on 8-bit or 16-bit chips. And even many 32-bit MCUs don't have enough onboard RAM to run the Linux kernel. The ARM Cortex-M series is a good example. There are hundreds of different chips based on the Cortex-M, and they typically have only a few hundred kilobytes of onboard memory. Linux will never run on these chips. Of course, Linux has many uses in embedded devices, particularly ones that provide a graphically rich user interface. But there are thousands of applications for which Linux is not the right choice. There are two broad categories of IoT devices, industrial and consumer, and their software requirements can differ quite a bit. Now, industrial and consumer devices can certainly share a common kernel and low-level services, but the middleware needed by their applications can be radically different. For example, take a wireless sensor device. This is a low-power, low-cost device that may run for years entirely on battery. It might typically use a Cortex-M series chip. This kind of industrial device would need an efficient wireless protocol such as 6-LOPAN to reduce transmission time and save power. Compare this with a consumer IoT device. The software requirements for this device are much greater. It typically might use a Cortex-A processor. And it might need a Java virtual machine, which demands a lot of memory. It might need to support different kinds of connections, such as data over power lines, or specialized networking protocols for vertical markets, like medical devices. These functional requirements will drive your choice of software architecture. Because you don't want the features of your device limited by the choice of platform. A flexible, scalable RTOS that runs on a variety of 16 and 32-bit chips will allow you to meet tight memory requirements and reduce processor demands. An important way to reduce the amount of RAM and flash memory required in your device is to use modular software. By separating the kernel from middleware protocols and applications, you can pick and choose only the components you need. And it simplifies your development process, especially if you were developing a family of devices. Back in our second video, we talked about the network connections for your IoT device. We talked about the range of communication standards that your chosen RTOS has to support. These include IEEE 802.15.4, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. And your device must be able to connect to IP networks using efficient protocols such as 6-LOPAN. A modular operating system will allow you to select the specific protocol stacks you need, saving memory on your device and reducing costs. Something else to consider. A lot of embedded devices are deployed in fields that demand perfect safety and reliability. So you may need your chosen RTOS to be pre-certified for safety-critical jobs. Fields that require certification include aviation, industrial controls, medical devices, transportation, and nuclear systems. Certification demonstrates the reliability and safety of your device. Software that is already certified can reduce certification time for your device and reduce your costs. And even if you don't require certification for your device, 
knowing that the OS running within it has been certified can bring confidence and peace of mind. This brings us to Micrium's IoT solution called Spectrum. Spectrum is a pre-integrated suite of embedded software for IoT devices. It includes a kernel, protocol stacks, and cloud services. It provides end-to-end -end support from your device to the cloud. The components of Spectrum include a real-time operating system, either MicroSoS 2 or MicroSoS 3. It provides local networking with support for Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and others. Spectrum provides support for IoT protocols, including HTTP client, server with REST API, and MQTT. It has a Java virtual machine designed for deeply embedded systems. And it features web services, such as cloud server interfaces, data brokering, and cloud storage. Spectrum gathers all the components you need into one portfolio of software. It runs on a huge number of MCUs, and licensing terms are flexible. Spectrum is available now. Drop by our website at micrium.com slash spectrum to find out more.